you guys and dolls, welcome back. My name is Cora. Today we're going to be doing a Boohoo haul and I am super excited for a number of different reasons. First and foremost, Boohoo is a clothing line that sells straight size and plus size. So I was very, very excited at the prospect of kind of reviewing any kind of brand that has a really wide size range. It makes my inclusivity feelers go all boom, boom, boom because I love being able to share things for anyone. It's what tickles my pickle. Now their size range is still not that broad and in certain clothing items they don't go all the way up, but I think they go up to a size 24 US, which in my opinion, it, there's some leeway there because the size that it recommended for me based on my body size was a US size 20, whereas I typically wear a US size 22 or even a 24 on the bottom. So I don't know guys, I don't know. I'm gonna tell you guys everything I ordered I believe is in a size 20. If there's something in here that isn't a size 20, I will let you guys know for sure. Super excited to get into this bag to finally dig in and check out all the things. I'm basically gonna be able to just like take everything out of that one big hole at the bottom. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Now if you like how I just like break out into song you definitely enjoy my channel if you're new to my channel please subscribe i have all kinds of awesome videos i've made like 800 videos in my almost 10 years on youtube so there's something for everybody here give my video a thumbs up it helps me out tremendously and you know you're gonna forget to do it at the end of the video so just do it now what's great about boohoo is that they do have reviews on their site and everyone's really active like most of the clothes that i actually picked up had reviews and it was really helpful to get an idea of like okay does this run large does this run small that kind of thing uh the other thing you want to do is just me be mindful of the size chart and have like clothing measuring tape at your house it's really helpful because even from like month to month your measurements might be a little bit different but also uh you know each brand's a little bit different and it's helpful to get an idea of like what size you wear in that brand instead of just being like oh i always wear a 2x or oh i always wear a 3x because each brand's kind of different the other thing about boohoo that really excites me is that it's more international so a lot of the brands that i promote on my channel are us only and that really sucks because i do have a global audience and i want to be able to recommend things to everyone. So Boohoo is very global. They're available to so many different people and I'm so excited. The other thing that makes me super excited about Boohoo is that it's really inexpensive. It's like it's extremely affordable. It's actually like downright cheap. Like I am so stoked. I, I got this big huge bag of stuff and I paid $110. Oh you might be noticing the, the hole in the bottom of the sea aka the hole in the bottom of my bag. So I gotta I got be honest with you guys. I wanted to have this like very true experience with you guys and not open anything until I got on camera with you so I could just have this experience with you guys. Like me opening these things, trying them on for the first time. In this situation, I was really apprehensive that the things weren't going to fit because anytime that you're ordering stuff from another country where the sizing is a little different and just a new brand in general, I got really anxious and I didn't want to have a situation where like I was super, super excited and then I got on camera and then things didn't fit and then it turned out to be a bummer. So even though every single thing else in this bag is still like in in its plastic I haven't opened anything up I did open this sweater I was also super excited about this sweater and like had an outfit I really wanted to wear with it this weekend so forgive me I opened one thing but everything else I'm just going to be taking out of the bag showing you guys straight out of the bag what it looks like and then trying it on for you and doing a side-by-side -side thing where you guys can see what it looks like on my body I'm going to give you as much information I, I can as somebody who's brand new to this brand so I ordered my items on November 9th and they came on Thursday, I want to say. So pretty fast, like really, really quickly. Um, I think I think it was roughly like eight days for me to get my order, which eight days from the UK and I did not pay for fast shipping. So that was super freaking awesome. When I went to StyleCon, they gave me a 60% off discount code, but they're always running some kind of sale. It's usually 50% off. So even though I might have gotten my things a dollar or two cheaper than what would be available to everyone, it's basically the same kind of pricing. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so the first thing I want to share with you guys is this yellow sweater and this is such a pretty color I love mustard yellow it's one of my favorite colors it really my hair is very very green right now and it does tend to work better when my hair is a little more teal like you can see it looks a little bit better against my routage than the ends which are much more green but I love it. It's one of my favorite colors. One of my favorite things about this sweater is the beautiful ribbing at the front here. It just looks very classic and clean. But on the bottom, it has this really great, like, broken up. Um, there's a name for this where, like, the two sides are split, but I don't know what it is. But it has a really cute knit ruffle to it. It's so 
cute and feminine. It's a great combination of like a nice chunky sweater or on the Boohoo site they call them jumpers because it's British which I just find so charming and of course I always think of Harry Potter. I'm like oh it's a jumper. Yeah just a really great really cozy sweater. It's not scratchy. It's not itchy. It's not super super soft either but quality wise I am super impressed. Like I paid almost nothing for this sweater and it's super duper soft. And I paid $14.40 for this sweater. So I think that is a steal the deal and I'm very very pleased with it. So uh post try on thoughts. The arms on this are a little bit on the long side, which is actually good for my sweaters. I do tend to like a nice long warm arm because I always get really cold on my wrist. That's nice when I'm like typing on my computer. I won't have to wear um, mittens, which I do wear when I'm on the computer. I have these mittens that don't have arms or don't have arms. I have fingerless mittens that I wear when I'm at the computer. So this is really nice because I can actually, you know, type on my computer, edit, whatever, and not have to worry about my wrist getting cold in the wintertime. Plus, it, they're the perfect amount of stretch to them to be able to put it up like this. The fabric is really nice. It's not itchy, which is something that's really important for me for sweaters. And I love a little ruffle. And I like it's slightly rounded on the butt. I dig it. I have, I don't even like I don't even remember what these things are. Okay, so everything's bagged up. Felicity knitted cross shoulder jumper. This was ten bucks. Ten bucks. I <laughs> know. I like. I'm so excited. So this one has like a really cool like ribbed texture to it, which I really really like. And it looks like it's going to fit nicely. It has a rounded hemline. I absolutely love a rounded hemline, whether it goes like this or whether it goes like this, like this one's sort of coming up. Love it. It's so flattering. It's going to be a great piece of the winter time when you want to layer it with other pieces. And I love the ribbing on it. I just really like the way that ribbed fabric looks. It just gives it a little something, a little zazazu. This is really nice. I like the length on the sleeves. I love the way this looks on the shoulder. It's very, very cute. I love the length on it too. It, it definitely covers like the full belly area but I love that it has the higher side I just think it's a nice detail um little I'm gonna like kind of stretch it out a little bit uh it actually fits really well I, I just was kind of curious to see if I could get it to fit a little bit looser because I know a lot of people like it when it has more of like a swing look to it I think it looks great now that's perfect and I love that it covers my bum bum but like also kind of like hugs around the butt I think this would look really great with a more contrasting legging like not something that was black although it looks cool with this too it just would look better I think was something that really contrasted to show with a different hemline. You can't see this but I'm like literally wiggling my feet. They don't quite hit the ground when I'm sitting on this. Um, I'm sitting on my hope chest. But ah! okay so this oh my god this this works out. Oh. Okay so this is the Megan printed flute sleeve dress and you guys oh my god I'm so excited. Look at this. Look at this freaking fabric. Look at this freaking fabric. Look at this freaking. Mm. Okay it's very crisp feeling. It feels like a very uh, thin, almost like cotton lawn. Is this made with cotton? 100% polyester. So no, it's not cotton, but it definitely feels like cotton. It has that sort of crisp cotton lawn type fabric feeling to it. It is also very, very sheer, but again, that is okay. These are so inexpensive. And I'm like looking at the stretch on this and I'm thinking it's definitely going to fit. It has beautiful bell sleeves. <gasps> I'm so excited about this piece. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Seriously, and how much did I pay for this? Ten bucks. Ten dollars. Ten dollars for this. I can't. I can't. I can't. I like, I'm, I can't believe. I really like this, actually. I think it fits really well. It's loose enough in the hip for me, and I have pretty... I've got some you know, a big belly, big butt, big hips, so things that fit me here don't always fit me here, so I'm pretty impressed with that. I have shoved my bra straps down. Actually, I kind of like the way this looks better with bra straps up. So wear this one with like a black dress. Ooh, there you go, full shot on my bra. Um, I really, really like this. I think that it's quite cute. There is some like irregularities, like there's some thread mess up right here. And kind of adjust the length of it by you can wear up on your shoulders like this and it's a little bit shorter definitely something I'd want to wear with leggings because we have a bend over hazard <laughs> but um otherwise very very cute and definitely one I really like I think I might add some kind of like silicone rubberized lining onto the sleeves so that they stay down I also think this would be great as a swimsuit cover up when you go swimming so very very excited about this okay, next piece okay so the tags are saying size 24, which I guess my UK size would be 24 if these are 20. I guess it's like two sizes. 
like two numerical numbers but technically two sizes up because it's like 20 22 24 so this oh my gosh the color on this one is so beautiful this is the eliza or eliza ribbed open shoulder swing in the color cinnamon and you guys know i've been kind of obsessed with this color i'm so excited about this color it's just it's been kind of everywhere it's uh, kind of like a creamy terracotta is how I would describe it. And it has the beautiful ribbed fabric. This one is a tighter, like slimmer sort of ribbing. Uh, it has a cold shoulder detail and the lace up at the bust. I love this. It looks like it's going to be pretty short. Uh, so we'll have to see if maybe I have to wear this with leggings or not. But it's a really, really, oh my god, the fabric's really soft. And again, the quality is a lot better than what I was expecting. I mean, I was kind of expecting like some super, super stretchy, like polyester kind of fabric. But this is really nice so far. This is a little on the short side <laughs> um definitely not one that i would wear without leggings out of the house it's very very short we have a bend over hazard happening right here but the color of this is so beautiful i love this sort of cinnamon color as i mentioned it's like a creamy terracotta i like the cold shoulder trend some people aren't really into it i think it's a really cute way to kind of show a little skin without being overly suggestive i also like that the shoulder on this is wide enough that you can wear a regular bra with it next fix Oh, this is soft. Oh, this is soft. What is this? Oh my god, I am so excited about this. So I saw this on the site a while ago, and I don't know why I didn't order it right then. I think I was still kind of apprehensive. And then when I got the coupon at StyleCon, I was like, well, I might as well. This is called the Lisa Sun and Moon Oversized Tee, and it has a sun and the moon motif on the side, which I am obsessed with. It looks like it's gonna be nice and flowy. Uh, maybe not super large on me, because um, I got them titties. One thing I'm noticing is that the fabric is pretty sheer, but that's okay, you know, it's inexpensive. I paid $9.20 for this. I think it's just the cozy time of year and I just wanna be comfortable all the time. I mean, I wanna be cute too. <laughs> okay, like I have my moments. But I definitely am, am into the concept of clothes that are very, very comfortable for longer periods of time of the day. Post try on thoughts. It's a little bit clingy in the belly, so if you can, maybe size up so I have more of like a swing kind of look to it, where because this is like a very thin jersey kind of material that sort of clings across the belly. But I don't mind that. But but a lot of people are a little more self conscious about that. I love that the print is on both sides. I really, really love that feature. I think it's super cute. I think it's gonna be a great layering piece under some of my summer dresses that are too cold for this time of year, or even a dress that I'm gonna show you guys later on in this haul. Okay, so next piece sorry if it's like it's kind of annoying Ooh, ooh, the fabric on this is fabulous oh my god i'm so impressed i am like genuinely freaking impressed you guys i really i didn't have high expectations because everything's so inexpensive i assumed that the fabric was all going to be really ugly and that the the you know that the sizes were going to be off and stuff emily floral oversized shirt and $12.80 for this. It's a very long shirt that I think could be worn as a tunic with leggings or almost like a belted dress or something. Something about this sort of reminded me, if you are if you were into uh, Sex and the City, which, oh my god, we do not need to talk about how problematic that show is, watching it with the eyes of 2017. Back in the day, I was super obsessed with Sex and the City, and there's a, uh, a scene in season six where um, Carrie hooks up with one of Charlotte's husband-to-be's groomsmen been won't say who that's kind of keeping it vague enough I'm wearing this like long shirt as a dress and I've always wanted a piece like this and I feel like this is kind of coming true it's not exactly the same print but it's pretty darn close I love the texture of this fabric it has a beautiful texture to it it's just oh and you guys can see my nails oh do you like my new nails just got them done yesterday so fancy they're like jewelry on my hands but um it's like a pebbled texture to it more like not to overuse the word textured but it feels textural it feels a lot nicer a lot more uh high quality than um just you know a cheap oh my god this is so nice this is really nice and i love the navy color this was available in a couple of other colors too it's very tight in the hip um, it's definitely something I would, if if a larger size was available, I would definitely size up in this one. Uh, again, my usual U.S. size is like a 22, 24 on the bottom. Um, so I think that that's just part of it. It's just a little bit slimmer of a cut, maybe. I do like the arms on this. They're a little bit larger on the bottom so that you can cuff them, but they're not so big. Like sometimes with plus size stuff, like they size up everything and you end up like, arms that are way too big when they're not actually like belled or anything like that. So this, um, because it's, you know, the print on both sides, it's really quite lovely uh, looking when you 
do you fold it up which I this is probably how I'd wear it anyway is with the arms type kind of cuffed a little bit love the fabric feeling it's very lightweight it doesn't feel like stifling or anything um you can wear all the way buttoned up if you wish so I do really like it uh but next time I might size up in this or my recommendation with this one if you want it to fit a bit looser on the bottom would be to size up also it's a bit too short on this side to wear as a dress which I was hoping I would be able to but otherwise it's quite lovely I'm really excited about this so this was a piece or is a piece it was is whatever um oh okay so we have it confirmed I was just gonna say online it said that these were two separate pieces but I wasn't really sure if that was true so this is the Bethany mesh two-in-one cami dress and I got this for ten dollars ten bucks and you get two pieces so there's a camisole dress which actually almost looks like it's going to be too big like I'm getting kind of worried now because at, at, at the point where I'm like talking to you guys I haven't tried any of this stuff on you guys are seeing it to the side but I haven't tried anything on yet because I'm obviously just opening this stuff this looks like it's going to be real big but we'll see it's sort of like a faded khaki color I like that it's kind of like a putty gray green oh I love like grungy kind of colors like this the fabric is insanely soft like very stretchy jersey material super duper duper soft and then so it's a twofer so this also has a mesh t-shirt and if I'm being completely honest which I always am <laughs> I kind of just bought this to have the mesh t-shirt because I love these as layering pieces so it's got like a three-quarter length sleeve it's actually a little bit of a crop top which serves my purposes perfectly because that means I could wear it with um, some things like I could wear it with another crop top or something and use it to have just a little bit of coverage for a little tiny bit of extra warmth in the winter time but not too much um, I really love the mesh tee this is definitely this is worth it to me for the ten dollars because I've seen these for as much as like 40 bucks and there's such a great wardrobe sta staple to put on other shirt other shirt Ooh, I can't talk I'm excited about it um so yeah for me it's worth it alone for the mesh shirt this the dress I'm of two minds of it's super comfy like it's very very large it's very very flowy so it's actually gonna be really comfortable for just like paneling around the house but it does tend to cling in areas that I find like less flattering like this little chunk of monk right here it's like hugging and like I appreciate the hug but it doesn't look all that great in my opinion it also tends to sort of like lay funny on my stomach area yeah it's okay it's, it's nothing to write home about to me this is totally worth it just for the mesh tee alone this is uh the stars and moon shirt that i showed you guys earlier layered underneath this dress and i think it's a super super cute combo you guys i'm so excited about this i oh i can't get the bag open fast enough hold on i paid nine dollars and twenty cents for this and it is a Mickey Mouse t-shirt, which I thought was just too cute to pass up on. And the quality of this cotton is really, really good. It's like nice, like um, sturdy cotton. It's not like that super, super, super stretchy jersey. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed with this. I've never had a Mickey Mouse shirt to my knowledge in my entire life. Maybe when I was like real, real little and I don't remember it, but I have always wanted another cute Mickey shirt. And I, you guys know I have this thing with black and white stripes and I love the coloring and how it's just simple and playful. Oh my God, I am so excited. And again, I can't believe how cheap this was. I'm just, what? It's a little bit stiffer on this one. It's not like that super stretchy jersey. Um, so it does fit a little bit tighter through my hip, which I actually expected. I expect to maybe even like slice this open and then tie it up as a crop top and or wear it like tucked into skirts and stuff. Super cute. It fits nicely in the arm. Again, I might sort of DIY this and cut them just to have a different cut to the arm because I don't tend to like these really like to the elbow kind of t-shirts. I like them when they're a little bit shorter, but overall thrilled. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So this is the Jessica floral embroidered mini skirt. I paid $7.20 for this. I know. Uh, oh my god. I'm so impressed. Like again, I haven't tried any of this stuff on but just like based on like how it looks, it's looking like everything's gonna fit beautifully. I love the embroidery work on this and it's a little mini skirt. So I'm thinking this would be really great to wear with some of my favorite tops in the wintertime. Uh, wear a pair of leggings underneath it to keep warm and then in the springtime take those leggings off and show off your legs. So excited. This also has a rounded hemline which I am obsessed with. I'm really appreciating little t attention to detail like that because a lot of inexpensive clothes would just go for the like the bare minimum so we'll do super straight hems on everything and things just don't look as flattering that way as they do with a little bit of a rounded hemline oh so excited so with this one um it's a little tighter than i thought it was going to be it's very very booty tight but on the other hand because it's so booty tight it's not gonna like show your butt when you bet like 
I mean, it will show your butt if you bend over, but like it won't, um, like the wind isn't gonna gust up and show your underwear or anything like that. Uh, I think maybe I could wear it a little bit lower on the hip and maybe get a little more length out of it, but I, I don't know, I, I don't know guys. I think this would be better with a different top. I don't think this top goes with it very well, but I just wanted to show you guys two things from this haul. I like the applique, I think it's very cute. I just, I don't think that the sizing is quite right for me on this one. I think I would probably want it in, a, in like one size larger just to give me a little more wiggle room. I'm like really putting them through their paces here because one size fits all fishnets is usually a pile of boo puppy, but because these are plus size, one size fits all, I decided I would give these a shot and I paid a whopping $3.60. So if they don't work out, they don't work out. But if they do, wonderful. I'm very excited about these. So final piece. Oh, something fell out. Okay. This is a tie that goes to the dress. And this is the, I think it's called the Naomi. Yes, Naomi fringe wrap dress. I paid $14.40 for this. This is a beautiful dress with gorgeous fringe. I am such a fringe head. I pretty much could put it on everything. In fact, I, w I forgot where I was the other day, but this girl had like um, like a band t-shirt and it looked like she had just taken like some fringe and put it along like the edge here. And I was like, that is such a cool DIY. I totally want to do that. But anyway, moving on. Um, love this dress. It's like a nice, like super stretchy. Like this is kind of what I was talking about. What I thought a lot of it was going to be was, um, like a polyester fabric that stretches. I am not opposed to that. Like to be clear, I have tons of clothes that are like that. It can be extremely flattering if done right. I just wanted a variety of different fabrics because when all your clothes have the same fabric, it's like, you know, like you want, you want like some textural differences. This is extremely beautiful. I am so excited about this one. Oh my Bob. It's very see-through though. How you doing? So hopefully it doesn't look so see-through once it's on. Uh, I am hella impressed with this. I love the fringe arm. This is the one I was the most nervous about it fitting. Uh, and it fits perfectly. It looks really, really awesome. I look that one side's a little shorter, the other side's a little longer. <sighs> I love it. And yes, the tights actually did work. I am hella impressed. Now, I have a very small waist. Uh, just compared to the rest of my body. So this might not work for everyone because it's very tight on my waist. Like, I can breathe. It's fine. It's not comfortable. The other thing I'd like to say about this dress is it's cut up to there, if you know what I mean. So if you've been seeing anything, it's been my underwear that you're seeing, not... Cause I wear, oh, actually, now that I just set it down, I think it's fine. Never mind. <laughs> I was, like, gonna make this whole speech about how it's way too short, but I mean, yeah, you know, honestly, like, because... If I were to sit down in this, I would be very, very self-conscious about um, things showing. So something to keep in mind, you may want to wear this one with uh, some like pantyhose or something underneath just to give you a little extra coverage. But yeah, see now that dips down a little bit lower. So good to know. Apparently I didn't have it all the way on yet. <laughs> so that is my Boohoo haul. I'm extremely thrilled with this. I cannot even begin to tell you guys like how excited I am. I did not think that this was going to be this nice. I've been talking a ton with my best friend Gabrielle of Musings of a Fox because she ordered the same time I did. In fact, she ordered first and I was like, should I do it? And she was like, you know what, dude, like it's so cheap. Like, let's just try it out. So we're sort of trying this out together. It's not quite a collab, but it kind of is. So if you want to check out Gabrielle's video, I will have that link down below for you guys to see her perspective and the things that she tried because she got to completely different things than I did and that was what was so cool too is that you know it's just it's the same clothing company but different things appealed to us just because we're just different people but also because there's such a huge variety there's so many amazing things they've already added a ton more stuff since I placed my order everything is just so freaking cute like this is like I ah, I get it now everyone's been like try boohoo try boohoo try boohoo and I'm like okay guys I get it I understand I I see, I see you. I see you, boohoo. Why didn't I try it sooner? Why? So don't be like me. Go ahead and give this brand a try. It's a really great fast fashion company. I will have links to everything I can find a link for in the description bar down below. If you're having a crappy day, I really hope it gets better, dude. And I hope that my video could have brought you some sunshine. Like literally my sweater is as bright as the sun. There'll be links for everything that I can find a link for in the description bar down below. That's it, the bag's empty. There is like a boohoo magazine. This is the one bad thing about a company that sells straight sizes and plus sizes is because there will be stuff like this that only comes in straight sizes and then I'm like because I really want that dress but whatever if you want to make my day go ahead and hit that little like button give me a little thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I will see you guys in my next video remember I'm vintage or tacky just be your own kind of beautiful see you bye